Well, the big four contenders in the Eastern Conference all cruised to wins last night. The Bucks have the best record in the NBA, but according to odds makers, they have the second best shot at winning the East. They trail the Raptors, who are on a six-game winning streak and added Marcus Gasol at the trade deadline. The Celtics and Sixers have the next best odds to win a conference that has been dominated by LeBron for the past eight seasons. So Brian Scalabrini still joining us in studio, but we are going to start with you, Chris, on this one. With LeBron out of the East, Who's the team to beat? I think the top of the East is great. In fact, I, I would argue that after Golden State, the next maybe three best teams, Toronto, Milwaukee, and Boston, are in the East. So it's a lot tougher this year. I think all those three are like this. But if I have to pick one, and I don't put Philly on their level. I think there's a notch below. Even after the trade. Yeah, because I, I don't like, I don't think Simmons and Embiid are ready mentally to win at a high level. I don't think they can beat Boston. I mean, you've seen it now. <clears throat> They're 3-17 and 17 against Boston in the last 20 games, and I just think they get out-executed and out-grinded and all the out-coached down the stretch of those games. But if I have to pick one team in the East, I'm going with Milwaukee. I, I'll give you a few things. They got the best player, I think, in the conference, and Giannis Adetokounmpo. The, they play defense. They do it all. They play defense. Then offensively, they can shoot the three. They make the third most amount of three-pointers in the league. They can score inside because Giannis will post sometimes. They can drive because Giannis will drive. They are the only team in the NBA in the top five in defensive efficiency and offensive efficiency. I look at Toronto. I like them a lot. but I, And I don't know if Kawhi is just sitting out for rest, but now they're talking about a sore knee. Maybe that's just something they threw out there. But he's missed 16 games. I wonder... May, may he have to miss a playoff game here, here or there. I look at Kyle Lowry, too. His body seems to maybe be breaking down a little bit. Boston, I think their biggest challenge is the internal kind of squabble of are we Kyrie's team or are we this egalitarian equal opportunity group where everybody's doing their thing and are the young guys fully buying in to Kyrie as the, the leader and number one guy? So for those reasons, I like Milwaukee. Look, they have the best road record in the NBA. This team is – and Mike Budenholzer is a good coach. Remember a few years ago when he took that Atlanta team to 60 wins, they didn't really have a perennial all-star other than Al Horford. So they've got all the boxes checked. Uh, I, look, I won't be surprised if Toronto or Boston wins it, but I'd pick Milwaukee. See, I, I love Toronto <laughs> only from the standpoint of, A – 13-3 and three when Kawhi is taking his rest. So it's not just about him and, and they have other people contribute. And number two, Kawhi brings you that experience that you, a guy who won a championship, who won an MVP, who in the big moments, there's no question where the ball's going and what you need to get from him. So I like Toronto. And, and, I, and I, all the points you made about Milwaukee's fine, I'm just not sure in the big game, in the big moment, yet that he's going to be... Uh, that, that guy. You got to look at growth. Like, when you're looking at these teams, who is going to grow the most in the playoffs? Who's going to raise their level? It's, I think that's an easy one. We all can probably agree that Boston's going to play a lot better in the playoffs than what we're seeing right now. I agree. Milwaukee, I'm just not sure they're going to take another step. For all the things that you mentioned, man, they're great on defense. They're great on offense. They have Giannis inside scoring. Great on the road. Can they raised their level. The Atlanta team that you mentioned with Budenholzer, they were good, but they got beat up by the Cavs, and it wasn't even close. They never raised their level. So I look at that Bucks team, and I watch, and you're right. They are the team in the East. They have not won a playoff series. That group have not won a playoff series. They're that team where I'm saying, here comes the playoffs, and they're going to beat up on that first-round opponent. But if they're a one and Boston's a four and they get out and they have to play them in the second round – I'm not sure I'm taking the Bucks in that series because of things that we talked about earlier. Giannis is unbelievable. Probably the MVP if the game was only 44 minutes. The last four, I'm not sure about. He plays so hard. What does he go to? The game gets tougher. It gets physical. Where is he going to go that last four minutes? The Celtics are going to Kyrie. The, the Raptors are going to Kawhi Leonard. I know what's going to happen in the last four minutes. I don't know what the Bucks are going to do. They're going to go to more ball movement. They're going to go back to the Mike Budenholzer Atlanta team. They struggled in the last four minutes, too. So when I look at Milwaukee, I'm not sure that they're going to raise their level as much as I think Toronto will. By the way, Siakam, 
career high last night. No one ever talks about him, most underrated player in the league. And then Kyle Lowry, been there before. He'll be fine. So, so who's your pick? Toronto? Yeah, I think Toronto because Boston's 1-12 in, in Toronto right now, and they have to prove to me they can go in there and win in Toronto. But when I look at this team, like the Bucs, I'm just countering your argument. I'm not sure the Bucs are on that level as far as when you talk about playoffs. Yeah, I love it. A guy from Boston who's not a homer. Yeah. No, I am a homer. I am oh, a homer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I root to be wrong. Okay. 100%. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sold on Toronto as well. And, and you mentioned them being 13-3 and three without Kawhi Leonard. And, and earlier in the show, we were talking about uh, Kyrie Irving and having, needing to have that guy to close the game. You kind of alluded to it. They have that guy in Kawhi Leonard. Who, do, who does the Bucs have? Well, he, Giannis is what he's when, in the top ten. When you talk, you make you make a great. Last, you make last a, four minutes. He's you, a little bit different. You, you make know, a great he, point he because score, when, but you're right. They don't just go straight to him. But I like that because I like they got other options. They do have Ooh, other options. Makes but, them less predictable. Chris Middleton. Yeah, wait a listen, minute. There are levels what? to this game. I love Middleton. He should be an All Star. But he ain't Kawhi Leonard. Kyrie. All I need see, you to do is, is hit a shot. See, I'm not of the hero. Hold on. I'm not in the hero ball group. I'm not in the – at the end of the game, I'm not – give it to him and just get out of the way. I'm like, let's run a play with some Did, did we not just have this conversation yeah. about Kyrie? I wasn't uh, just Kyrie? talking – no, hold on. <laughs> Don't twist my words. I wasn't just talking about the last four minutes. I was talking about period. You need a superstar. And they and you got talked, Giannis. And you talked about He's clutch. He's a superstar. <laughs> you didn't talk about oh, clutch? Oh, Kyrie is clutch. Yeah, in the, I, in the, in the moments that. where you need him most, which is the last waning minutes I wouldn't take the game. anybody like, over Kyrie in that. But I, I'm not going to say Milwaukee can't win – because Giannis isn't as clutch as Kyrie. You That's have, all I'm saying. You, in my opinion, you have two clutch guys and a Siakam that feels like I'm just as clutch as these guys, Kyle Lowry and, and Kawhi Leonard in Toronto. And they play defense. You, the, arguably the best two-way player when he's <coughs> on the court in the game in Kawhi Leonard. So I like this team moving forward. You add Gasol that stretches the floor, that gives you three-point shooting at the big spot. I like this team because they have depth. They can they can defend and they can score. Now they do go through laws where they sure. where they don't put up <laughs> points in a matter of four or five six minutes and at a period of time. But I feel like if they do, do go through those laws, they have the defense to defend and stop the uh, opponent from scoring as well. Look, I've been with Toronto as Rob knows basically all year. I'm a little concerned, and again, maybe Kawhi is probably maintenance, and he came out of San Antonio where that's what they do. They they sit you out some games. So maybe that's all it is. But I'm just a little bit concerned at that we're this deep in the season and I still see him sitting out these games. And I think Kyle Lowry, if you look at his production, it was higher early than late. And he's not, he's not been great for the most part. He's had his moments in the playoffs. But he hasn't been great for the most part in the playoffs. And by the way, I know it's regular season, but Milwaukee's 3-1 and one against sure. Toronto. They're 5-2 and two against those other top teams, including Philly. Things get a little the, tighter when the playoffs Oh, nah, you're come. right. And you make a good point. You're right. I mean, we know Boston's going to raise their level. Toronto probably will. We have yet to see it with Milwaukee. They got Kyrie. They got Kawhi and Danny Green, champions. So Milwaukee's got a, an uphill battle, I'm, but I I'm like I'm interested them. in your take on this. Kawhi Leonard in is sitting out, because I think it's a concern, too, personally, as from a fan, not knowing how things go internally. Like, is this Kawhi Leonard just saying, I don't... I'm not playing, or is he really hurt? No, I think or? it's. it's just, I think this is an easy one. With Kawhi Leonard last year, I think he was felt that San Antonio was forcing him to get out there. You remember the comments that Tony Parker said about, "Hey, I had an injury. I'm older. I came back, mm -hmm. and you weren't playing." So I think w with Toronto, and I don't know this, but anytime you got a an I uh, injury issue, go ahead and sit out. We take care of our players. We care about you for the long term. I think they're selling that to him, and I don't think it has to do with this year. I think it has to do with his free agency. To try to write. Yeah, especially, yeah. Like, like you know, we, got, we, we, we care about you long term. It's not just about this. We're not going to sacrifice you going out there and hurting yourself for us to have home court advantage. Whatever it is, it is. Take all the time you need. We want you here next year. I have nothing to do with this year. All right, guys. Why did we not talk about Philly? They made that trade. How can we not <laughs> talk about up, Philly? Bring them on. Well, they're, they're one, this is my problem with Philly. And I pull for Philly. Like, I would love to see them come out. I don't think they have a leader yet on the court. I think Butler's deferring a little bit. And yeah, but he's you had problems with leadership. They got Tobias Harris 
I, pretty much nothing. Right. No. So how is that not? How are you adding an all-star? You got four guys. And not, and not. They've upgraded talent-wise, but have they upgraded between the, the eyes, the ears? I mean, that that's my only question. I just don't think Ben and Joel are ready yet. We brought up the other night against Boston. They're down four with three and a half sure. minutes left. What does Joel come down to do? Four seconds into the shot clock. Three-pointer. Yeah. Stuff like that, it will lose against Boston. Sure. Now, they'll have a better shot, I think, against Toronto and Milwaukee than against the Celtics. Yeah, that's what I think. The, the, the interesting matchup is going to be who they play in the second round, who Boston plays in the second round. Well, they better hope they don't get Boston in the first round. Right now, that's the best. Nah, but Indiana, four or five. Indiana eventually is going to fall I out know, of there. They, 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 well, I know they, they are, right. but eventually the NBA, like, you don't have big – it's you're eventually going to fall off. right? How well yeah. they play. They're a tough team. Soccer yeah. Yeah. Remember, the Lakers lost by 42 to them. Yeah, oh you keep bringing well, LeBron that LeBron played in that game. Jeez. LeBron played in that game, too. First game back after 18. Jeez. Y'all, thank you for hanging